Are you ready? Well, I was born ready. I remember when I was at McGinnis, we had a football coach there, his name was A.D. Joseph. And he was, he was my mentor. He was football coach, but he was the best coach I've ever been around, and, and he got more out of kids than I've ever seen. And, and he, the kids just loved him, and they, oh, they, you talk about giving an effort, they would give an effort for him. And before every game, he would always say, all right, he said, I want you to get light on your feet, a smile on your face, and fire in your heart. And he said, if you'll do that, he said, it doesn't matter if win, lose, or draw, he said, you can look yourself in the mirror tomorrow and know that you, you did what you need to do. And that always stuck with me. First of all, those knights could hoop back in the day. Um, you know, kind of watching some of those videos, you, you, you got to see just how athletic um, some of those guys were. I, I loved everything about Northwest Class in basketball. At Northwest Class in basketball was the most anticipated season. There is a history, mystique, and a tradition of Northwest. I loved the tradition that was here before us. It was really uh, something that, that made you want to really get in here and do the best you could for Northwest Class because you know they were already a good basketball team. That this was a pretty special place and that the basketball program was the most special place. Didn't want to lose any games up in this gym because the crowd didn't want us to lose and they had our back and they were going to fight with us. Running out on the court uh, in front of a packed gym. Because everybody knew Northwest when we walked up with us. It just was an incredible atmosphere. This place was rocking. It was just great being a part of the Purple and Gold. And to put on that Northwest uniform and come out and, and play in front of that crowd was, was awesome. The greatest memories for coaching Northwest class. I would say that the first two years I was here, I was playing a lot of young players because we, we all, everybody had graduated. And uh, Putnam City at that time was one of the better teams around, and Northwest hadn't beaten them a while in a good while. And uh, so the first two years we played them, and of course they they beat up on us pretty good. They had Alvin Adams, who was Player of the Year, and played for the Phoenix Suns for six foot ten, and I had a six foot two kid. Wasn't a great night for Northwest Classen because we lost ninety six to sixty four. And Piccolo had us run the night offense the whole fourth quarter. We were trying not to let him score 100. Because people don't let him score 100. Don't let him score 100. And we didn't. We, we kept them down under 100. We played them in the third year. Coach Piccolo called for Saturday practice. And we had never, in my three years here at Northwest Class, and we had never had a Saturday practice for any reason. That was a, a special game. Uh, we'd never beaten Putnam City in my, my career yet. We trailed by 16 points at halftime. Uh, it, it didn't look good for us, but we, we just kicked it in and, and we ended up winning the, winning the game in double overtime. And, and uh, it was, it was, that was another just unbelievable feeling. You would think we just won the national championship. The whole crowd, the student body, they came out on the court and it was very emotional. Winning the 82 state championship, uh, and we forced enough to win, we won 85. Of course, when you win the state championship, that's, you know, that's icing on the cake. When we got to Northwest Classen in 1979, Northwest Classen was already a huge basketball school. They had some guys here that was on the map, Donnie Bird and those guys, they were really good. So to be able to join, uh, team like Northwest Classen and come to this school uh, where they had a great basketball tradition going already. It was really uh, something that, that made you, you know, want to really get in here and do the best you could for Northwest Classen because you know they were already a good basketball team. And uh, the Purple and Gold was able to, to pull through and, and win that state championship that year. So that was without a doubt the greatest moment. And I, I can remember when the bus went off, I, I just, I was just, I guess I was joyful. And I caught myself, I went to the sideline of the court 
and I bent over and I think I was kissing the court and I looked up and on the court he said, expect a miracle. And I thought, my golly. <laughs> Coach Piccolo was the greatest. All right, Coach Piccolo, he was always a great mentor. You could always talk to him about anything. He was just an all-around good guy. He wasn't just the basketball coach. He was a good guy. Because I remember once hearing Coach say, uh, you, if you don't block him, get that rebound, you're not going back in the game. And that was probably the first thing I remember from Coach Pick, right off the bat. So, I had to grab rebounds. Coach Piccolo, to me, is really my, my connection with the school because um, all the memories I have of, of practices and coaches and coaching and, and uh, games under, under Coach Piccolo are what I remember most about the school. A guy who knew the game, knew his players, knew their strengths, knew their weaknesses, and knew how to draw the very best out of them. Such a caring guy. I mean, he he wants all his players to succeed. I mean, he, he truly cared about them, no matter if you were the best player on the team or, or you just never saw any action, period. But he would do anything for you. He's definitely much more than a coach. Uh, he was a mentor to a lot of kids, uh, someone you could talk to freely. And uh, I'll always remember that and respect him for that. I'm a rich man. I don't have any money. But I've been blessed uh, so many times, and this was really a blessing. It's, and it's a great honor. Uh, golly, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm just, I can't wait to kind of see it and, and, and check it all out and think back. And, but I want to thank everybody, Kurt, mainly you, and everybody that's involved in this, and anybody that's donating toward this thing. Uh, I want to thank you from, from the old expression at the bottom of my heart. It means a lot to me and, and to my wife, and, and uh, golly, it's, it, like I say, it's a blessing. Coach, we just want to say thank you for all of the, the memories that we shared here at Northwest Class, and thank you for being more than a basketball coach. He was always a guy that someone could talk to uh, and relate to, and, and you know, all basketball coaches are not that way, so we want to say thank you, congratulations on your name being put on the court, I think it's well deserved. Congratulations. Oh man, I love you, man. You're my man. You still got it together. I see you here and there. You still tell me everything's good and the family's good. And actually, uh, your daughter, one of your daughters uh, teaches at the school my daughter goes to now. So she's still passing down. And I'm still getting piccolo love through my family. So it's just family all to me, it's all family. Looking forward to meeting you um, and hanging out with you. Um, I'm, I'm so excited that you're getting to live this moment and, and you know, um, have these guys come back. Uh, I can only imagine what it's like um, to you know, have that uh, happen. So I can only um, dream of that one day. So congratulations, Coach. Uh, he's more like an uncle to me. He had me get into school when I needed it, so he was, he was always good to me. Well, thank you for the memories and um, I really look forward to seeing you very soon. Coach Pico, you were a mentor to me when I needed you to be. Uh, you were a basketball coach. Uh, you were a friend. Um, you, when I look back at my high school career, I, and I tell my kids this all the time, if it weren't for your belief in me early on, I don't know how my college career or my high school career would have went. Um, they know your name as well as I do because I talk about you so much. And, I, and the mentorship you gave me, it means the world to me. I, I love you so much, and I love coming by and talking to you even to this day. So you, you've you been a father to a lot of kids, and I just was blessed to be one of them, and, and I love you. Coach, uh, you you definitely one of the top people in my life. Uh, uh, just, you were a hero. You were, were definitely a mentor to me. Uh, bailed me out of a lot of situations, and, uh, and tried to, you know, you were a rock, and I appreciate everything you've done. Coach, you made me as good a basketball player as I could have ever hoped to be. And I'm sorry if I'm cracking up on this a little bit, but it was true. You didn't have anybody else that could play center 
and you figured out a way to motivate me, you figured out a way to coach me up, and you figured out a way to get the most out of me. And I'll never forget that. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Julie Rose.